Marielle, this is so exciting. I'm going to be you. I'm actually going to be the interviewee right now. So I get to be you. Okay. I'll take the glasses. I'll pretend. No? 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 It's fine. I'm you. Let's just pretend there's a whole swap here on how to conduct a stronger interview. So I'm going to uh, have you ask me the most frequently asked interview questions. And then as well, of course, since I'm also training you, I will highlight things that you should definitely, you know, talk about strongly. So, hi. <laughs> All right, let's right. begin. Right. Okay. Tell me about yourself. How about we start with hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? It's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Hi, my name is Mariella Arroyo, and I'm so excited to be here. Okay, tell me, I'm really excited to be here. Tell me about yourself was the first question, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm a native New Yorker. I'm also a Hispanic American. My, I come from a, a family of four. My brother is a civil engineer, and I uh, am looking to pursue a career in film. I'm really, really excited about pursuing my interests. I've been studying film for all throughout my four years in college. Okay. Uh, what are your strengths? Well, I have a variety of strengths. I'm very, very hardworking. Sometimes there were projects, uh, film projects in school. I would stay up until 2 or 3 in the morning working with a team. I know how to work with a team, and I also know how to work on my own. So those are definitely my strongest points, that I can be a team player, but I can also be an independent thinker. Uh, in addition to that, I know how to balance my school responsibilities, with my work responsibilities, with my family responsibilities, and I've already had experience with living in another state. So I'm definitely very, very strong in adapting to a multitude of situations. And especially, I'm currently in Boston University, attending a school with nearly 40 to 50,000 students. Just, it's really, really exposed me to so many different persons and just interests. And what are your weaknesses? My biggest weakness is that I have so many interests and just not enough time to complete all of them. There are so many areas that I want to explore in my life. I'm very young, I'm restless, I'm very ambitious, and I want to go really far. I just, I, I love what I've studied in college and I want to explore everything. I know that realistically I can't because my time is, is just limited with how much I can do, but there are just so many different aspects of film and, and production and cinema that I want to get involved with. I think my weakness is just wanting to do too much. Okay. Um, why do you want this job? Well, in particular, I'd like to work for your television studio. Besides its national and international reputation, I've always, always aspired to work not only in a company, but in particular this company. Ever since I first learned about it during the career fair at my college, I have gone to the business car, there was a contact person, I have gone through the company's website multiple times. I also am very, very excited about being in Los Angeles right now as well. I feel like there are just so many creative minds in California. And I really look forward to meeting more and more interesting and diverse people and just expanding my opportunities while I'm here. Okay. Um, where, do, where would you like to be in your career five years from now? I can see myself Five years from now, gosh, I would love to be, I, I'd love to have your job. I think it's amazing what you do. I think it's, it's, it's a fantastic, just, just to be able to hire intelligent minds and to work with creative people. And I would really like to be in a position where I can help my company grow, where I can help it maximize its profit, where I can help boost ratings. I can't imagine anything more exciting than working with a company and knowing that I am an instrumental force in that company growing. Um, what a, what's your ideal company? My ideal company is, without a doubt, it is this one. There, you hire people from around the world, you have national locations, international locations, you offer incredible benefits, and you really, you're, you're very family friendly as well, which is really important. Um, you know, I want to be able to visit family when I can in New York and just knowing that you really accommodate for not only the person's work but really the lifestyle is very important to me. I'm a very big saver and I like, you know, you have 401ks in place, you have pensions, you have medical benefits, health benefits. Those things are very important to me, especially in the long term and especially now that I'm out of college and I have to make some very big adult decisions. 
Um, why should we hire you? I would be an amazing addition to this company. I'm a hard worker, I'm focused, I'm determined, I'm ambitious, and I just love your company. I can't think of a reason why you shouldn't hire me. I've learned so much. I have a lot of skills. I know how to handle Final Cut, Avid, Canon, um, all the basic computer skills. I'm extremely, extremely comfortable with using Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Adobe Photoshop. And what did you like least about your, job, your last job? I like least about my last job. I wanted to do more and I just couldn't. So that's something in general with my personality. I like doing, really, really doing as much as I can with, with my job. I, you know, I only, I had a very, very specific task to perform and I respect it because they had deadlines to me and there were many departments, but I really wish that I could have done even more for that company that I worked for. Um, when were you most satisfied in your job? I am most satisfied, I'll give you an example of when I was the most satisfied with my job. Um, I was in California September of, uh, in December of 2010 and I had a video which I helped create and that video was presented to a live audience of industry professionals. And that was part of the second symposium on gender and media at the Skirball Center in Los Angeles. Watching industry professionals view a video that I played a direct role in creating was just a magnificent experience. And it made all the hard work worthwhile. Um, what can you do for us that other candidates can't? I can offer my diversity, my experience. I'm fluent in two languages and I really have a very open mind. I've lived in New York, I've lived in Boston, I am looking to live in California, I've traveled to the UK, I worked with Stink Productions. They had, I mean, they worked with so they worked with celebrities uh, like Con they helped film for Kanye West. So I really I'm I've traveled. I'm not af afraid to explore either. So I can definitely say that I am very fearless on a lot of different levels and I want to learn more. I'm not resistant to it. I'm actually really excited about it. I'm excited about learning more and really becoming an expert with the final cut as well. Uh, what were the responsibilities of your last position? During my last position, I worked at BU TV Network. I was the post-production supervisor. I started out as the head production assistant, and I worked with a head production team at Bay State, which is the country's longest running college soap opera. That come, uh, Bay State's actually the winner of three Telly Awards, and it's a student-run TV network. While I was there, I utilized the Final Cut software to prepare and edit televised episodes. I also adjusted the color schemes, I added sound bites, I stabilized the shaky shots, and I um, preserve standard camera moves. It was a fantastic experience to be part of the school network. It was a great experience, especially working with Bay State. It was the longest, country's longest running college soap opera. There were so many writers. The students would actually write for the soap operas and it was great because I got to actively participate in that and it was just an incredible experience. What do you know about this industry? This industry encourages creativity. It takes ideas to the next level and it actually executes them. And I just feel that this is a perfect fit for my needs. I'm a very creative person, I'm ambitious, and I really wanna go far in this particular field. So, not to say that I wanna be the next Steven Spielberg, but I don't know, why not? So I feel like the sky is the limit with this industry. I feel like digital media is really, I mean, it has changed so much over the past 10 years, over the past five years. I feel like this area is just growing and growing and growing. And I'm never bored. Really, I can honestly say that all of my four years of college, I was just fascinated with what I was learning. Um, are you willing to relocate? 
Absolutely. Um, New York, LA. I mean, if the company needs me in a different state, I would be more than happy to look into that and explore that opportunity. I have a very supportive family as well. Um, I've lived out, even though I'm the first one to go to college in my family, to go out of state to college in my family or whatever your history is, I, um, my brother has done that and I'm just really excited about exploring different cities, different states and I want to do what's best for the company and wherever they feel there's a need for my services, I'll be more than happy to provide it. So the actual location is not as relevant to me as what's needed for the company because my number one goal will be working for the company, making the company happy. And do you have any questions for me? Yeah, I do actually. Um, how did you start out in this industry?